well, so I'm gonna rest here until I feel better. Shh. I don't get it. Bob was really excited about coming to the beach. Maybe he's homesick. You know, like when he was a kid. That totally makes sense. I get it. I do miss my stick collection back home and the backyard and hissy. Excuse me, but I am right here. I don't miss you then, because you're here. Hi, hissy. <sighs> you're right, Rolly. The only thing that cheered Bob up last time he was in Florida was the parrot. I smell a mission. Let's go. Wait, how are we going to find that parrot? Bob said that the parrot knocked down coconuts and ate grapes. And danced and sang with him. I like this parrot a lot, and I haven't even met him yet. So all we have to do is find the coconut knocking down, grape eating, dancing and singing parrot. Easy as kibble pie. Kibble, now I'm hungry. Bob did say he first met the parrot while on a walk in a garden. Then we should go on a walk. I love walks. With all these trees, this seems like a good place for a bird to be. I don't see any birds. But I do hear one. Hey, we know you. <laughs> Sorry, Nelly. Are you Bob's bird? <laughs> Rolly, she's not a parrot. Oh, right. I just saw wings and got excited. What are you doing in Florida? I came here because it's warmer. Is that why you guys are here too? We came here on vacation to play with Bob on the beach. Except Bob doesn't want to play because he's homesick. Now we're looking for Bob's birdie friend to help him feel better. Yeah, Bob's bird knocks coconuts out of trees. And eats grapes and dances and sings. Hey, I heard a bird singing today. I could take you to him. A singing bird? Lead the way. Yeah, but lead the way through that puddle. We love puddles. 